They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, all clean shaven and looking young and weird and chubby faced. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to fix the beard. That's why I was trying to sculpt the beard, and I over sculpted and over sculpted. And well, here we are. It's back to square one. Uh, the hair is still up. I need the hat somewhere, but uh, the beard is. That's. See, you, buddy. No more hair. No more beard. Anyways, uh, this is Hinge and Bracket. A uh, good friend of the channel's Martin sent this over to me and said, I don't believe that you've tried any Hinge and Bracket, and maybe no one's ever recommended it to you. And I said, well, son of a gun. I'm up for anything. <laughs> so this is uh, Dr. Ebony Avandi. Avad. Avadney. Avadney? That's a hard one. E-V-A-N-D-N-E. -E. Avadney. Dr. Avadney Hinge and Dame Hilda Brackett. Uh, these are two gentlemen who um, I had to, I looked this up a little bit because I wanted to see if they were still around or still alive. I think one of the gentlemen passed in 2002. I, it looks like the other one may still be alive. Um, but they're musicians and uh, their act was uh, as two women. I don't know about all the time, but this is their mainstay act for a long time. So, um, Hey, I'm I'm down. I'll watch it. Let's do it. You know, the hell. I'll bet they probably kill it, right? <laughs> probably knock it out of the park. So let's give this a whirl. Let's see. Uh, hinge and uh, hinge and bracket. Yeah, why not? You guys, ready? I'm ready. Make sure the volume's up. Volume's up. There you go. Thumbs up. Let's do this. Leroy. Oh, it's only one speaker. Anyway. It's okay. It'll be okay. I'm sure you're all going to have a wonderful time with us tonight because, of course, we are, as we say, recreating a typical Edwardian evening. Edwardian? But What was that? The word is Edwardian. Well, I've always said Edwardian. No, as an Edward Heath, no doubt. <laughs> well, you'd know, of course, you were alive at the time, weren't you? <laughs> Now, just one moment. I thought you had made a New Year's resolution to be kind to Evadne. Yes, I have. Well, then. But New Year doesn't start for another couple of hours. Of course. The doctor and I... I'll try to pause and talk because I have a feeling the volume's going to be very low on this. So uh, it's only coming through one speaker, but that's okay. So I'll just try to pause when I talk, and that way I can maybe adjust it later so it's all a little more even... And you don't have me being super loud and spiking. I may have our little disagreements. Well, you may. <laughs> but one thing we've always agreed on, of course, that the turn of the century was one of the finest times for the production of wonderful music and lovely dances. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt that the, Edward, the, 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 the turn of the century <laughs> yeah. was absolutely splendid in this respect. And I thought it might be rather nice tonight to have a little participation. We're in the party mood. And I said, why don't we all have a dance tonight? So, before you get overexcited, <laughs> we've worked it out. Now, this is a dance we used to do at home. My father invented it, and he called it the tiddly pom. That's sweet. Is that in the... Um, but anyhow, I see we, we sing it like this. We sing the song, and every time we get to the word tiddly pom, we get... <laughs> oh, rock on, Tommy. And, uh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Daddy doesn't like Morecambe and Wise, anyway. Um, <laughs> we thought you could do this sitting down, you say. And then once you've rehearsed it and learnt it tonight in the new year, you can do it all to your discoid parties, anyway. <laughs> now, so it's it, quite simple, you see. All you have to do is tiddly palm, stretch, clap. Tiddly palm, stretch, clap. Couldn't be easier. It's quite simple, right? <laughs> She thinks she's Eileen Fowler. And you know, it's funny because um, they do this they do this role so well. I keep forgetting that this is two gentlemen pulling this off. You know, it's every once in a while I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that that is that, that is a guy. Uh, great look. They look like two elegant older ladies. Um, they 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 sound like two older ladies, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's, it's a far cry from when some guy's like, Oh my God, I was at a club and I made out with this woman that found out she was a dude. And then you find out that she had a huge Adam's apple and her voice sounded just like mine. And, uh, she had a hairy upper lip. Hmm. Missed all that, huh? I see you getting tricked by these two. Anyway, <laughs> Shall we try a 
three times through. Oh, I'm Shall we? Yes. Are you all right down there, Mr. You know what I mean? Up here, tiddly palm stretch clap. There, you've got it over there. Yes. Well, if they haven't, they can get it. Um, <laughs> are you all right now? Sad about the hearing aid. I'm awfully sorry. <laughs> As long as you don't fall off your bicycle the other side. <laughs> now, um, so our new musical director and master of ceremonies, you know, Beville Brightly. All right, yeah, some of you might know his brother a bit better. He's an optician, Seymour. Anyway, um, Seymour Brightly. Uh, I'm sure that carnation's grown since he put it in. Uh, now, Shall we try it three times through, the tiddly-pom? So we do the movement, the tiddly-pom, stretch, stretch clap. clap. All right? Now, we'll do it to music. I'll try this, please. too. The tiddly-pom, tiddly stretch, stretch clap. It's quite good, really. It's really good for stuff, <laughs> isn't it? Awfully good. Yes, you could feel the wind. Let's do it. Come <laughs> do this. Tiddly-pom, stretch, clap. They look wonderful. Tiddly-pom, stretch, clap. Now, you <laughs> tiddle when you show... Good all these people. You know, they're all like, they're going to, tomorrow, they're going to be like, talking to their friends, what'd you do last night? I'll show you. I did tiddly palm, stretch clap. What the hell did you do? Hmm? Tiddly palm, nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> you caught your bracelet in that lady's hair, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's come off. <laughs> yeah, so it's the bracelet. Now, listen, we'll take it. We'll do it from the top, and when we get to tiddly palm, you do a tiddly, tiddly palm, palm stretch, stretch clear. Clear. All right? Lovely. We've had many dances, both Spanish and Dutch, the Charleston Pablo of Red Bottom and such, but all these my family frantically more. So if you come calling, you'll find that we Dancing so lightly, the tiddly palm spread. That's what we do all day. Friends and relations leave their occupations. Here to get all things. My father invented the tiddly palm spread. Grandma can dance in fist. So give us a dance like the tiddly palm Marvellous. Till ready there, thank you. It's a lovely suit, you know, Bevel. Yes, and when you grow into it, it'll look very good on you. <laughs> now, this time we're going to sing it again, but I'm not going to sing the word tiddly pom because you're going to sing it. So when you do tiddly pom, stretch clap, you sing tiddly pom. All right, have you got that? Again. Dancing so lightly, the that's what we do all day. Friends and relations in their occupations, merely to get it all fair. Father invented the tilly bomb.
that was wonderful. You really did awfully well. Yes. I can hear it now in the headlines in all the papers, you know. Britain besieged by tiddlypoms. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, people are often accused of Adney and I of living in the past. Well, we do, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> But one thing we've always agreed on are the traditions at this time the of traditions. year. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, the holly. The holly. <laughs> holly, yes. The ivy. I was. Yeah. Yeah. The mistletoe. The mistletoe. Yeah. <laughs> are you expecting somebody well, you now? never know, do you? <laughs> well, of course she is. We all are. Because at midnight, somebody has to bring the coal in. We've got gas. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, why do you want coal? Well, you can't bring gas over the doorstep, can you? Well, of course you could in bottles if you wanted to bring gas in, but uh, we've got gas well, in. Well, then the milkman would have it on his float, wouldn't he, there? What are I you mean, getting at? I mean, if that needs New Year's Eve, the first footer brings in the coal for luck. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose I'd better do it then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, it's, apart from the fact you've got two left feet, the thing is this. You see, it has to be a stranger. Well, I know you, it must be a tall, dark stranger. Well, I'm tall. I'm darkish. And you're quite strange, yes. And, uh, anyway, <laughs> have you noticed our Christmas tree? Isn't it lovely? Do you know, this Christmas tree is one of the finest you'll see around these parts. It was brought to England originally by Prince Albert, do you know? <laughs> it was only that big when we got it. But then it <laughs> your crackers. I beg your pardon? Your crackers? Well, Tell them about your crackers. Oh, yes. <laughs> I <laughs> make all our make Christmas crackers. crackers. I do. Yeah. I start in February and get them ready by Boxing Day. But do you know? <laughs> yes, I, I write all the mottos. <laughs> and Evadne, Evadne knits all our Christmas stockings. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got mine on. <laughs> 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 Hence the limp, but it's the sugar pig in the toe. <laughs> now, sugar do you pig know, in the toe. a show that I've always associated with this time of year, the Merry Widow. I don't know why, but well, the, the thing is, you see, that the Merry Widow, the music of Franz Lehar, it sparkles and bubbles along in spite of Ivana's arrangements, but it does. <laughs> and of course, over the years, we presented it, we appeared in it on tour in the early years. I've played both Valenciennes and the Widow herself on consecutive nights. But <laughs> you know, the same night. <laughs> I once even did Baron Zeta at a matinee in Cleethorpes, but however. Yes, then we moved to Loughborough and that was it. But um, <laughs> I thought it might be rather nice tonight if we gave you a little selection from the widow. And I'm joined by the Stoats, the Stacton Trestle Operatic and Traumatic Society. <laughs> I'll stop cracking that up. And um, oh. you will see them dancing. They do it awfully well, so you know, keep your eyes peeled. And so from the height of the Edward. The music of Franz Lehard from the year 1905. Oh! 
All right, that is the end of it. That is the end of Hinge and Bracket. Um, so I got to be honest. I mean, at the end when they started singing, I was like, hey, I want to hear more of Bracket singing. Bracket was doing a great job. And then Bracket jumped in a little bit. Uh, I'm an old soul. So this is kind of like, you know, they're reenacting classics from the early 1900s. And I just enjoyed that in itself alone. Uh, fitting that it's a New Year's piece. So we just celebrated New Year's a few days ago. Um, and, uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I quite enjoyed the back and forth comedy banter between the two. Um, I believe it's bracket that was doing the singing. And I got to tell you, that guy can work some heels. So he's doing the backwards jump with the one leg in the air. Like what the hell, man? He's that other foot's on a heel and Christmas stockings on. Anyways, um, something different, you know, this is very different. Uh, I'm sure it was very different for its time. It was obviously well received. The crowd, it's funny when they were doing the, the piddly pump, or whatever, piddly, piddly bump. Uh, every time they show the audience, there's always one guy like, no, I'm not doing it. Nope. Nope. Not me. No, it's not going to do that. I'm not doing this. No, nope. no, nope. my friends are going to think I'm weird. No, nope. and all his friends were, I'm like, anyway, um, what did you think of Hinge and Bracket? Hopefully this brought back some good memories for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, I don't know. We'll see you down the road. Maybe I'll look for some more stuff from them. I don't know. You never know. Sometimes... I mean to, and I forget to. Oh, you never know what me. A little thick. You guys be good, all right? Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Happy New Year once again. This is your freshly shaven buddy. Scroll up.